Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will learn how to count colored cells in Excel. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you're a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda that is how to count colored cells in Excel. Now, here on my spreadsheet, you can see some data. So, this particular data has some color markings. So, we have used color codes to mark the designations of all the employees with different colors. So, for example, blue for manager, purple for senior, and so on. Right. Now, our duty is to count the total number of employees present in a company based on the color code. This can be done using filters, but let's try with color codes. Now, we don't have a readily available function in Excel to count cells based on their colors but we can make use of macro. Now, to make use of macro, you might want to enable the developer options. So, by default, these will be disabled in Excel. To enable them, right-click on the toolbar and you can see this particular option. Click on the Customize Ribbon option and you will be provided with various set of options. Now, on the right side, you can see Developer Options. So make sure the checkbox is clicked to enable developer options and press on OK to completely enable developer window. Right now, when you click on developer options, you can see various options here, visual basics, macro, etc. Now click on the macro to create a macro. Now just give a name to the macro function. So I'll give simply learn and press on create to create that particular macro function. So we have already created a macro that is count colored cells, which we will be using in our current spreadsheet for counting the colored cells. Now let us erase the newly created function. Now getting back to the original code. So how does this particular count colored cells works? So let us understand the function first, then we will try to make use of it in the spreadsheet. So the function name is count colored cells, as you can see, and this particular function will have two parameters, current cell and spreadsheet area. So the current cell will be the cell address where the color you want to count is present and then the spreadsheet area. So what is the range of cells where you want to locate that particular color and count the number of repetitions? That is the spreadsheet area. And then comes the variables used, colored cell range, color code and color cell count. So the colored cell, which particular cell is having that particular color and what color code is involved in that colored cell and colored cell count. So what is the total count? What is the total number of colored cells you have in that particular range? That is colored cell count. Now let us consider color code is equals to current cell interior color. That is current cell dot interior dot color. So this is the function which will identify the interior color of a selected cell. Let us imagine that initially color code is equals to the current cells color code. Okay. Now we will have the for loop. And that for loop will include colored cell, which is the current cell in the spreadsheet area. And if the colored cell, the currently selected colored cell dot interior dot color is equals to the color code that we have selected, then colored cell count, the variable which is used to count the number of colored cells is equals to plus one. Initially, by default, it will be zero. In case if this particular if condition is true, that is the current cell color, and the color code given is equals to same, then the value of colored cell will increase by one. And this particular if loop will run as many number of times the condition is true. So let us imagine that the condition will remain true for five times. Then we have obtained five similarly colored cells in the given range of cells in a spreadsheet. And once the condition fails, then the latest value present in colored cell count variable will be displayed which will be a final result so this is how the macro function works now let's close the macro window and get back to our spreadsheet now let us try to make use of the macro function that we just created so that is equals to count colored cells press tab to select the macro function and the first one is the current cell so this is the current cell where the current color is being provided comma this cell range 
So our cell range will be from C2 to C31. Right. So this is the range where we want to count the similarly colored cells that is sky blue colored cells. Close the function and press enter. Now you can see the function has identified six repetitions of sky blue color in this particular range of cells. Now you can drag the same formula across all the cells and it will be providing the results of the same. So six senior colors that is pink or purple color, then two repetitions of this particular color, two repetitions of trainee color, five for dark blue and six for green, right? So this is how the macro function works. And the key point to remember here is this particular macro will work only for manually colored cells. So there are situations where we have used conditional formatting to color a single cell. Let us imagine that we have used conditional formatting to recognize the employees with salary above 30,000 as green color. And if we try to use that particular green color to be counted by the color count cells function, no, it will not happen. It will not consider that color as a feedback or an input. Now, in future, we will also try to design a macro which can recognize the colors made by conditional formatting as well. But this particular function will be exclusively used for manually colored cells only. With that, we have come to an end of this session on how to count colored cells in Excel. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you require the resources that we used in this session, like the data set, macro code or the PPT, then do let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.